In this lesson, we are going to continue to look at the effect that scale factor has on area. In the previous two activities, uh, the main thing that we have found out from those activities, if we take any area, which I'm going to call an original area, and we multiply it by the scale factor squared, we will get the new area. So in other words, the effect that scale factor has on area is that in order to go from an original area to a new area, we would multiply by the scale factor squared. And in this particular uh, textbook or this particular unit, we are calling scale factor, or we're representing it with the letter K. So an original area times K squared is equal to a new area. We're going to apply that to some problems, that idea to some problems. So here's the first one here. Uh, here's an example. It says, determine the area of the figure below and the length of each square is one centimeter. Uh, so some of the formulas that we just copied in the last particular lesson are these, that a circle is pi times radius squared, a triangle is base times height divided by two, and a rectangle is length times width. So this radius here would be two centimeters. So if I wanted to find out the area, it would be 3.14 times two times two. And that would be... 12.56 centimeters squared. That's the area of the circle. Uh, the rectangle, the base here, the length of the base is 5 centimeters, and the height is equivalent to 2 centimeters. So the area would be base times height, or 5 times 2 divided by 2, which is 10 divided by 2, which is 5 centimeters squared. And finally, the rectangle has a width of 2 centimeters and a length of 3 centimeters, so the area would be 2 times 3, or 3 times 2, which is 6 centimeters squared. So if I was to combine these, so if I add them all together, uh, what I would end up getting is 23.56 centimeters squared. That's the area of this shape. Now, uh, the next question is an application of that. So what is the area of the figure after it is enlarged by a scale factor of 3? So if I made all the measurements three times larger, what would the area be? So here's an application. We know that this original area, so 23.56, times the scale factor squared would be the area of the new shape. So all I really need to do here is to take the 23.56 and multiply it by the scale factor, which is 3, and I'm going to get these 3 squared. I'm going to get the area of the new one, so that's 23.56 times 9, and that's equivalent to 212.04. So that would be 212.04 centimeters squared. Now that's much quicker than the method I'm going to show you next. Another possible method that you could use would be the following. <clears throat> you could take all the measurements and make them three times larger. So I showed the work right here. So if I made the radius into 6, the area of the circle would be 3.14 times 6 times 6. If I made the base three times larger, which would then be 15, and the height three times larger, which would be 6, the area of the triangle would be 45 centimeters squared. And if I tripled the lengths of this rectangle, it would be 9 by 6, which would be 54. So also... If I added those up, so 113.04 plus 45 plus 54, I also get a total of 212.04. So you could uh, make all of the measurements three times larger and find the new area, or just multiply the original area by the scale factor squared. Uh, part C says, what would happen to the area of the figure if it's reduced by a scale factor of a quarter? So essentially, it's going to get a quarter squared less area. Or in other words, if I take the original area, 23.56, and multiply it by 1 quarter squared, I would get the new area. Or in other words, 23.56 times, and I'm going to represent a quarter as 0.25, and if I square that, it becomes 0 0.0625, and that's going to be equivalent to 1.4725 centimeters squared. So that's the impact that scale factor has on area. Now the next question has to do with a kite. So Jasmine is making a kite from a 2 to 25 scale diagram. So she's got a small diagram. It says the area of the scale diagram is 20 centimeters squared. How much fabric will she need for her kite? Now, before we can figure that out, we know that we're going to have to multiply it by the scale factor squared. So the first question is, 
what is the scale factor? Well, the scale factor uh, is 2 to 25, or in other words, if it's getting larger in this particular case, the scale factor to go from the diagram to the actual, is it going to be 2 over 25 or 25 over 2? Well, if I'm going from the smaller to the larger, that would be represented by an improper fraction. So the scale factor here would be 25 over 2 if I'm going from the diagram to the actual, or vice versa if you're going the other way. But I think if we're going if we want to know the actual fabric, uh, we should go from the diagram to the actual. So we know that <clears throat> the original times the scale factor squared, so if I take this and times it by the scale factor squared, I will get the actual area. So that would be 20 times 25 over 2 squared. 25 over 2 is also 12.5, so the scale factor could also be 12.5. So if I take that and multiply by 12.5 squared, I will get what the actual area has to be. So 12.5 squared is 156.25. If I multiply that by 20, that will give me the amount of fabric that we need, and that is 3125 centimeters squared. Now in our last problem, it says this. Jim's laptop has a monitor with the dimensions 9 inches by 12 inches. Now if you're a visual learner, you may want to draw a picture. The image of his laptop is projected onto a screen of a whiteboard. The documentation for the whiteboard says its screen area is 2,836.6875 inches squared. If the image on the whiteboard is similar to the image on the laptop, so these are exactly the same, uh, just have different dimensions, they're similar, determine the scale factor used to project the images on the laptop to the whiteboard. So, in order to come up with the scale factor, this is kind of an interesting question, so uh, how do we do that? We're going to want this area. Well, this area here, <clears throat> 9 times 12 is 108 inches squared. Now, if we use the formula where we have original area, so if we're dealing with areas, it's original area times scale factor squared is equal to new area. Or in other words, if I took this original area, 108 times k squared, I'll call the scale factor k, is equal to 2836.6875. Now the easiest way to solve for k, which is your scale factor, is to divide by 108. So we're just solving an equation. Divide by 108 and we'll have that k squared is equal to 2836.6875. <clears throat> divided by 108, and we have 26.265625, so 26.265625, and to solve for k, we would take the square root, because the squaring and square rooting are opposite operations, so if we take the square root of that number, we will get 5.125, so the scale factor is 5.125. Okay, and to apply that, <clears throat> it says determine the dimensions of the whiteboard. So if the scale factor is 5.125, all we need to do is multiply these measurements, because measurements don't have a relationship of scale factor squared. You just multiply by the scale factor. We times those by 5.125. So 12 inches times 5.125 is equivalent to 61.5 inches and 9 inches times 5.125 the scale factor would be 46.125 now here's an interesting way we can check that this is correct if these are the dimensions so this is the answer to that question then these two numbers these two numbers should multiply to be the area so if I take those two numbers 46.125, and I multiply it by 61.5, I do get the area of 2,836.6875. So that's a way to check that I'm correct. So in conclusion, some key ideas. To determine the scale factor, so in this last question, if we want to know the scale factor when the area of the original shape and the area of the new shape are known, all we are going to do is take the new area and divide it by the original area. 
and then calculate the square root of that particular answer. Or in other words, what we just did came from this formula right here. Okay, so how did I come up with that? If the original area times the scale factor squared is equivalent to the new area, we would just divide the new area by the original area. So this is just the algebra behind it. So new area divided by original area. Same thing we're th seeing here, and that would be the scale factor squared. So if I would like to know the scale factor, I would take the square root. So the single scale factor is the square root of the new area divided by the original area. And that's the exact same thing described right here.